So this should be the last of our WRC two cars coming through to the end of the longest stage of the series, over 50 kilometres. It's going to be hard for man and machine. Scott Petter, though, who is in the WRC two field we hear, has gone off and possibly got back on the road between Eli Evans and Molly Taylor. There's going to be plenty of stories at the end of this very long and tough stage. Look, I took it easy, probably the first 25k, and then um, I said to West, I'm going to push on a little bit now. But it was probably in the wrong areas, in a tight section, so I had to back off again. So maybe I left my sprint a little bit late. I don't know how much tyre we got on the front, but um, I had grip the whole way through, which is disappointing because it means there's still a little bit left in the tyre. Yeah, I really enjoyed it, actually. It went, uh, went faster than I thought, but um, yeah, we made a few changes to the car in service. It feels a bit better. We still yeah, got a long way to go, but you know, at least our... Uh, gap's coming down a bit, so at least it's a positive sign. Well, that was the thing, it's half a second a K, which could probably compared to yesterday is an improvement, so that'd be a positive. Yeah, yeah, I think we have to look at it like that. And it's always difficult in a stage, you know, I didn't uh, I didn't want to push too hard at the beginning in the tarmac sections, I thought, um, and then halfway through I was thinking, oh, maybe I'm taking it too easy, and so trying to find that balance was a bit challenging in that one. You're swerving just at the end of the stage, the car feel okay? Yeah, I think the tyres are shot, like it was struggled massively in that probably last 10, 15 k to put power down in this wheel spin city. <laughs> um, but I don't know, the car doesn't feel right, it feels like it's down on power. I know it's hot obviously in a turbo, but it still doesn't feel on song, so not too sure what's going on, but um, really struggled and we had a spin in there as well. Um, so we just sort of got stuck in, in the, one of those ruts and just sort of spat us out and sort of half spin. But um, ah, look, it's alright, I think we've got the job done a little bit to Molly, so... How was the run, mate? Hopeless. Stuck in fourth gear the whole stage. The whole stage stuck in fourth. From about five or six corners into it, it's been fourth gear. All the th left threes and right threes, we just got smashed on. We couldn't slow down. And then on the fast stuff, we couldn't go fast enough. So that, we put that, in a shocking time. That doesn't sound like easy to rectify at service if you can get there. Uh, well, it'll only be a hydraulic block thing, probably, a selection thing. But maybe it was something when they had the gearbox apart last night that they, you know hasn't been bled properly or something. So we'll try and do something here. But I can't. I've had to turn the engine off with the turbo cooking and all that sort of stuff. So it's not good. Stephen, potentially second uh, fastest time through there, mate. Yeah, happy with that. Um, we had the car cut out probably halfway through the stage too, so we sat there for a good five seconds thinking we had a fuel or what's going on, so I sort of reset everything and um, it sparked up again, so uh, we pressed on from there. Um, I think I did burn the tyres out a bit too early. I'm sure everyone's probably saying that, but... Well, it's funny because Eli thought he didn't burn his up enough. Molly thought she got it about right. Adrian overcooked his early. So it's a real it's a real strategy on the way to drive this, isn't it? It sure is. And it looks like uh, Eli's uh, made some gains at the end there. So, yeah, preserving them early is obviously uh, the go.